ridiculous. I'm finally recording now, wow. just so everyone knows. Yeah. All right. Fine. Don't say anything you don't want your mom to hear, because I'm now recording things. Um, he was telling us the Devastator is secretly Megatron. Oh my! The whole time. <laughs> the whole time. The whole time. He's gonna rip it off at the end. Like that Mission Impossible. <laughs> it's just like a rubber mask. <laughs> so, I'm Mike, Zach. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> you know him by now. Um, and then Tyler. You might remember Tyler from uh, the Comic-Con thing we were at. Yeah, you were there. I made there. a brief appearance at the Vince Nicola, and I think I was in the background. You were in the background of a couple shots, yeah. Yes. But we actually talked to him a lot. We just didn't get any of it on, on film. Uh, it wasn't film worthy. I didn't make what? the cut. Sorry. Sorry, bud. <laughs> you were no Greg Berger or <laughs> John Warden. Maybe I couldn't next. do my Grimlock. <laughs> yeah, you need to work on that. <laughs> yeah, badly. That's right. So uh, he watched our episode and he wanted to come to the toy store we came to. So we're at Toy Addicts. Yes, because I'm still a big kid. Look at this. This is what he's got right here. What do you I'm got? Getting myself a Scourge. Yeah. My son and I are missing a Scourge. And. Uh, the roles are reversed, so my son and I, when we play together, mm -hmm. I have to be the Autobots, and he because he gets to be the Decepticons, and we don't really have we have the eighties Optimus Prime. Yep. We do a lot of like toy banging together and yep. stuff, and that doesn't really work with an eighties toy. They'll break. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So I'm getting myself an Optimus Prime, but yes. don't tell my Decepticon friends, okay? So this doesn't leave us. This does not leave secret. here. That's right. Okay, like, Meanwhile, I'm telling everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter, be alerted. There's also a little dog down here. So this is Toy Addicts. We've got John right here. Wave to the camera, John. So That's right. So we love it here. It's We, we try to come, but it's like a, what, a half hour drive or so. Yeah. It's not something you can come to a whole lot, but we love to hang out. In the Transformers aisle because we oh, are cool nerds. Scourge. There you go. That's uh, the same scourge you have in your hand, but in it's the Japanese version, so it's the it's like the oh, toy oh, colors. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's most show show accurate, is what it is. I was yeah. Looking at the, the face on yeah. No. Yeah. Right, that was back one. when Takara and Hasbro released the same products, but Takaras were a little bit cooler. <laughs> now they don't do that anymore. Now it's basically the same. Yeah. So John also added lights into this display case so we can see things a little better. Look at this. this is my favorite thing right now. Is yeah. This, 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 this. I'm VHS, coming down. This, I'm coming down. VHS old Beast Wars tie-in. It just looks like that crab was trying to make up with that VHS. <laughs> it's like it's mine. <laughs> this is my VHS. I don't know why I made him like a Cobra Commander kind of thing, but that's what I went for, okay? Hey, what's with the tiny shocker? He's the same size as Warpath. There's a Legends Shockwave they released for the Combiner Wars uh, era. The uh, Bruticus that pulled him as a gun. Yes. Ah. As an allusion to that episode. The one where he held yes. him as a gun. That that one. The very same. <laughs> the very same. <laughs> My favorite thing is how they've struggled with what to make Soundwave over the years. <laughs> it's Well, because the tape deck isn't as relevant anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> tape deck's not super relevant anymore. He, he's a digital streaming service. Yeah. <laughs> you call him Alexa. <laughs> Instead of Alexa, it'll be Soundwave. Alexa. Wave flicks. Soundwave, turn on the lights. Actually, how cool would that be if he said, as you command? As Megatron. you command, yeah. yeah. All right, idea here. Come on, somebody get okay. Jeff Bezos on the line. So, if, right. so this guy right here you're looking at, you're right next to, he's writing the next uh, comic. For uh, tran for Transformers. Is it IDW? Yeah. Constructicon origin okay. story. Yep. Nice. So, it's in in the current continuities. I wish I had time yeah. to read a comic book nowadays. That's, Even though I have. Yeah. It's only twenty. So comic books. It's only twenty pages, and it's a lot of pictures. <laughs> That's the great thing I about that comics. It's a lot of pictures. Yeah. Huh? It's a yeah. lot of pictures. <laughs> a oh. Lot of great pictures. All right. Well. I need this. Okay. Yeah, no, no, I live in Orange County, so yeah. I had to get these. My son wanted a scourge, so I had to get a scourge. Let's show you guys the uh, Black Series Although stuff he they got make here. Fun of his mustache. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's a robot guy with a mustache. <laughs> yeah, robot guy with a mustache. <laughs> yeah. My question is, do they make a trimmer for that? Oh. I think you just bend it and put it back. <laughs> <laughs> 
Switch it out. Switch it out. <laughs> Cybertron has modular mustache. <laughs> <laughs> you can replace yeah. it? Yeah, that's Barbara a new toy line idea. idea. Oh, Interchangeable. Modestash. Oh my god, I think I had this He-Man. And he gave me nightmares. This freaky He-Man. Yeah, I'm lucky that my wife uh, indulges. indulges. She lets me, she understands. Well, mine does too, clearly. Clearly. I was gonna, yeah, clearly. Yeah, but the problem you're actually kind of making money off your uh, obsession. I'm I'm working there. I'm trying, you know. What, what what's your end game? Uh, I'm just gonna keep doing the uh, the YouTube thing, and hopefully at some point I grow to a point where it kind of becomes self-sustaining. Yeah. Um, that's not happening right now, but uh, maybe at some point. Episode, I'm just yeah. It right now. <laughs> we'll be, see. Be prepared to blow up and go worldwide. I can't wait. The World Wide Web. Oh man, I kind of want to get this. That Colossus Juggernaut two pack. I don't collect a lot of Marvel Legends. Yeah, I don't collect a lot of Marvel Legends, but I do collect the uh, the X Men. So that's like where I limit myself. Here's a G one Predaking for 150 bucks. Is that the legit G one? Yeah. One? Yeah, like, it's oh, a reissue. I, yeah, I bought my son that one for. Yeah. Oh no, I think Santa brought that one. For oh yeah, Santa. I don't, Santa I don't did. Think it. That I, you didn't bring it. No, I didn't. No, Santa did that. I one. get confused as to what we. I know what Santa brings. I'm like, will you just stay consistent, Sam? <laughs> His, what's weird is he sometimes keeps using your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff that comes in clothes. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Is this something you're selling on QVC? <laughs> Home shopping network. Yeah, yeah. The stuff that comes in. I don't know, I think I'm going to go for this. For the Beast episode. Yeah? I think it's the silliest looking like Transformer. I would I buy that. I would. What's up? <laughs> Can't buy from me. <laughs> well, fine. I kind of like this frog guy. <laughs> Spitor. Spitor. <laughs> it's a, or, or swallow or spitor. Hey, that's a that's an awesome port. <laughs> that was good, right? I wish there were a bird called swallow or. I only got a swallow. <laughs> Man, he this looks stupid, so good. Man, stupid is stupid retract. He's a pill bug, but his I know his robot mode is just oh, no. awful. He's basically a shell former. But he's so some of these have like a weird charm. They do. They absolutely do. That's what I like about this guy. This Ramulus? Yeah. This thing is ridiculous. Marshall. Stay over here. Iguanus? Skur Scourge. Yeah, we are just talking about Scourge. Yeah. Skurge. 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 He's, he's a locust. Owl. Prowl. Oh, it's Prowl. It's Prowl. Get it? He's a, oh. he's a, he's a, he's a Prowl. He's got like hover wings and he has like an eye patch. So, are your significant others gonna blame me for coming down here or what? Oh, they they knew. Am yeah. I gonna get like angry calls? My girlfriend likes to come with me to this place. Oh, that's true. That's a, she she finds stuff to do. Yeah, she, it's a she's a she's thing. a toy sculptor on her own and she oh, has wow. a bunch of art toys, so she collects all kinds of stuff that <sighs> I don't collect. So our our apartment is this monstrosity. <laughs> Of like toys and music and all it's all the stuff everywhere all the time. Oh, no. <laughs> My wife put Damn. It, uh, yeah, that wouldn't fly. I kinda want that. I had that as a kid. Which one? The oh, little mask toy, I don't remember what it was called, but the front flips around, like it's it's pretty rad. My girlfriend's the absolute worst person to talk me out of buying stuff too. Which I'm like, Yeah, mm, I shouldn't get this. And yeah. She's like, it's your money. And I'm like, What? <laughs> and that's how we've been together for eight years. <laughs> It's a beautiful thing. A love story to the core. Centurions, dang. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to put Scourge back and okay. get the hot cakes and stuff. <laughs> the McDonald's. You got some oh, Rock Lords back cake. there, too. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, it's the Chicken McNuggets, too. Yeah, and the Big Mac? I mean, come on. And, and Blue Grimlock. <clears throat> Nothing like a G2 Grimlock, man. <laughs> What is with what is going on here? That's the uh, uh, Power Master Prime. Oh my god! So he, he he turns into a big prime. 
Yes. That, to the. There's my. Yeah. There's my boy, the one that started it all for me. The sky warp sky there. Warp. Yeah. Night slash. I love his colors too. Apparently, I just like purple. Like you purple. love purple and black. Well, it's a good color combo. Yeah. 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 All right. I'm gonna. We're gonna do a cheers here. Yeah. Figured why not. All right. We say till all are one. Yeah. Till all are one. Till all are one. All right. All right. That's good stuff. That's for you, Alex. Yeah. I like to be pretty, pretty chill, I guess. We're going to TC Rockets. I'm recording this because I'm a little drunk. Oh, drunk. I'm buzzed. I'm I'm getting Zach's Zach's bo booty right here. Buzz driving is drunk. Though. That's yeah. true. That's why your wife's driving. <laughs> That's why my wife came. That's right. Oh wow! Wow. So this is different from. Oh, look at this. Hold on. Okay, so hold up. Where where are we, Zach? TC's rockets. TC's rockets. All right. Is it TC Rockets? For TC's Rockets? We got some Lord of the Rings toys right here. Decently priced at $15 a pop. Yeah, I was thinking if they had any Mr. Sinisters. They got Archangels for like 30 bucks. Like, that's not bad. That's like the normal price that it goes for. I thought I would like this cable. It's because it's weird, like, vein arm. Oh, the old one, the old um, Marvel Legends, the, the yeah. biz ones, the, Mar the toy biz. There we go. I eventually got to what he is. 22 bucks for this, uh, for War Machine is not bad. I kind of like these little Heroes of Cybertron figures. This is always a super silly but kind of fun figure. Oh yeah, absolutely. Whoa, it's been a while since I've seen the bludgeon in box here. Yeah. Oh, is that an oh inbox lug nut? Oh my god. That's, that's easily one of my favorite so, figures. And, and Super jealous. Oh, we we need to go to Frankenstein's at some point. Yeah. Yep, yep. It's uh, up close to your your uh, area. Uh huh. Literally has every old toy you can imagine just in little baggies on the wall. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I was like, well, I just found your grail for you for 20 bucks. Oh and he's like, oh. I want that lug nut. Look at that. They got tons of uh, third party uh, figures over here. They got Fans Toys Quick Wave. This is one of the best shockwaves on the market. Oh, yeah. It's masterpiece scale and it's, it's bigger and bulkier than the official, the official one. The official one, yeah. It's sturdier. It's got more die cast. It's a gorgeous little figure. Well, you have Cloud Nine. I have that. Oh, I have Cloud Nine too. Well, Cloud Nine and Fans Toys are basically the same thing. Just slightly different too. Yeah. Oh my God, the Sunstorm has the crown and the and the cape that the Starscream does. You know, because that time in the cartoon when Sunstorm <laughs> took over. Yeah. They got a lot of good. Th they got the. They, oh, they have the cesium. Zach. Oh, shit. He's two hundred and fifty bucks though. That's like twice as much as he went for originally. Those are the Fantasy Toys Dinobots. I love this Gundam name so bad. Gundam. Love Phantom. Gundam love Phantom. <laughs> That's funny. It's ridiculous. They have G.I. Joe Transformers crossovers here too. Yep. Man, I'm half tempted to get this lug nut. Oh. It's, honestly, it's a super good figure. Yeah, but my, oh, uh -huh. my wife is going to kill me. Uh-huh. How much is it? It's 80 bucks. 80? Okay, that's, that's a little, that's steep. That's, that's steep. That is steep. If fair, you can find that. You can find out eBay steel for like four hundred. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at all these classic He Man's. I know. He looks like he'd be. Whoa! They've got original Jurassic Park oh, figures.
Is that the G.I. Joe one? Yeah. yeah. Like six feet long. Yeah, my neighbor had that one. Yeah, I had a neighbor. I've one. never seen the and USS I, flag in real life. Yeah, I my neighbor had one, and I never had one, so... Well, he had that, and he also had the Ghostbusters house. So yeah. we put the Ghostbusters house on the flag, so it was like our that mobile... Was, that was a real G.I. Joe. Hey, flag. it's the Rolling Fender. Oh, oh, nice. My neighbor had it. So, Tyler. Yeah. The Rolling Thunder right there, uh-huh. I have a Optimus Prime that transforms into that. It's How? a third party company. It's a third party company that they they made that. Like the robot looks like Optimus Prime. Yeah, yeah but the but it transforms, the transforms into, that. into that. Even has the two missiles off top and everything. Wow. It's I think it might be my favorite Transformer in my collection. It just happened. I, I thought that you did ask for it. You specifically were like, I, I want it to be white. Blonde and I, tall. I did, go, <laughs> I did go to school. Yeah. I, did, I did four years to be this tall. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go to the tall school. And I didn't go to the years. right school. Yeah, yeah. Damn it. I went to tall school for four years. <laughs> I need to go to the tall school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, cheers. Cheers. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. All right. I'll get out of your hair. Okay. <laughs> I don't really have any here, so like. <laughs> well, you well, got someone. Well, here. when I, yeah, when I started going bald, I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah. Like I'm just, it's gone. Uh, when I get to a point that I notice it in yeah. the front, then I think I'll go the yeah. similar route. But since it's back here, I yeah. don't really I, like. I'm not aware. I of I feel it. like I'm going bald on my terms. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like like this is my choice. You did. Yeah. You did. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I didn't go mm, bald. I made 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 bald. Right. bald is my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I went Heisenberg on your ass. Exactly. <laughs> it's actually, that's when I started. I was like, you know what? If Walter White can do it, I can, I can do, do it. it. That's right. Fuck those guys. <laughs> I'll just look like a cancer <laughs> pa- <a> patient. <laughs> if the seminal Power Rangers voice actor, Brian Cranston. Right? Do it. <laughs> it's crazy how many voices he was in Power Rangers. Yeah, he was several monster voices in Power Monster voices. Maybe, yeah, yeah. We, we confess. Yeah. I never really well, that was past your time. Yeah, so yeah, right. we were talking about how you like Transformers kind of past your time. Uh-huh. Power Rangers was that for me. I, know, like, yeah, I never got that in Power Rangers. I liked Power Rangers, but it was, one, 90s, of those, right? it was one of those yeah. things where like, I couldn't tell anybody that I liked Power Rangers. Yeah, it, it was, was your cool. secret shame. It was my secret shame, but I liked Power Rangers. So another confession. Okay. No, the camera is rolling. Is okay, I'm just letting you know. My most embarrassing moment of my entire life, Mm-hmm. I was in, I think, eighth grade, okay. and in science, I, I was obviously playing with Transformers. Obviously, at the time. obviously. My brother had told a friend of mine who was his brother, was my brother's age, had told his brother that I was still playing with Transformers. Mm. He decided. Stitches get stitches, first yeah, of all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he decided in the middle of science class to announce that I think I was 13 maybe at the yeah. time was still playing with Transformers. Was the girl you liked in class too? Uh, uh, no. No, okay. Class, all no, right, no. all right. But I honestly, Even worse. <laughs> I honestly turned bright red. Sure you did. Denied it vehemently, uh-huh. which clearly meant I was guilty. Of course. Yeah, of course, yeah, of course. But it was an extremely embarrassing moment and I still remember it to this day and I still probably go a little red when I even talk about it. But like it's right funny now. because honestly, these days, like... It's not a big deal if, it's a, not, if a kid's no. like 14 years old and still collects and plays with or toys. Or 37. Yeah. Or yeah. <laughs> 40 something. 40 something. Yeah, 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 right, but right. like, honestly, <laughs> I have an excuse that I have a nine year old son. That's so. true. So we don't have yeah, a, yeah, I have no yeah. excuse. When we're banging yeah. our toys together. <laughs> That's right. But it's like. Yeah. This nine year old son ploy is really. <laughs> Although sometimes I go to the toy store. I, I if, someone, like, if someone asks, I'm like, yeah, I'm looking for a toy for my kid. <laughs> <laughs> Which is. My inner <laughs> yeah, right. You can't see him, but no. he's in here. Yeah. So yeah, shout out to you, Eric Rodden, for calling me out. That so. you, you hear that, Eric? Yeah. Come at us. And you're a Facebook friend. Come on. Come at us. <laughs> Like, at us? Yeah, like, at, at us. At Bots and, and Shots. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're on Facebook. We're on, know. Actually, we're on Twitter. But I can make us a Twitter account. We yeah, probably should. We should get on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Twitter, Twitter is like the thing. Stuff, okay. So. so, well, speaking of which, yes. who the fuck are you? <laughs> I don't know why I censored myself. This is my show. Yeah. Who the fuck are you? There we go. I did it. Uh, well, you know, that's such an existential question. It really is. Who, who is any of us? <laughs> but uh, I am actually Tyler Blazinski. I am writing 
the new series for IDW Comics. And you're in my house. And I'm in your house. That's I don't know how I got here. Yes. <laughs> well, we did. We drugged you. So we captured you. <laughs> Somewhere in Southern California. Yeah. You're still drinking. Yes, yeah. yes I am. You, would, you know it's drugged, right? Yeah, yeah. I guess you just God. want to sleep over it. Yeah. Some people like sleep over it. Yeah. It's okay as long as you cuddle me after. That, well, we, come on. We're both good. Come on. We're both, <laughs> we would not cuddle you. Both cuddlers. Yeah, come on. Yes. Okay, so... Um, I am writing the new series uh, called Transformers Galaxies Constructicons Rising. It's hitting the uh, comic shops on September 25th. Okay. Um, it's obviously focused on the Constructicons. Uh, aptly named. Aptly yeah. named. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited about it. it. I've been huge Transformers fan my like since I was a middle teen. Uh, since that's they came out in 84, and I think I was like 12 when they first came out. So, so yeah. Yeah, and uh, and I like took to it immediately. It was pretty much the coolest franchise I'd ever seen. I was like, holy shit, they're like vehicles that can turn into these really cool robots, and then yeah. some of them can connect to each other and form giant robots. Like, mind blown! <sighs> but it was like... It was something that resonated with me, and I started thinking of all these stories when I was a kid, and it was my son, really, that wound up bringing me back into it. Like, he was about five years old, and my mom found my old Transformers, and she brought them back to me, and said, get this crap out of my house. <laughs> so I, Smart mom. <laughs> so, yeah. so I was like, holy shit, this is a treasure trove, and... I was like, I kept them purposely because my brother and I used to talk about, like, someday we'll have our kids play with these things that together. Makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. And so I kept them, and eventually I got them back and started showing them to my son, and he got really into it. And yeah. Someday my kid is never touching my <laughs> dress. Absolutely. Well, believe me, <laughs> my son's room is actually my dream room. Okay. Like, honestly, he like he has the masterpieces at a level that he cannot reach them. Smart. But just always admire them. And but day, admire them from when he's sleeping. Right. And from yeah, afar. He's, he's got the seekers all up at the top. Star like Stream will be. watch over you. Yes. Just hoping to overthrow just you one day. <laughs> sleep well with the usurper here. It's always good to have him there to remind you to always watch your back. <laughs> just watch your back, kid. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and then, but then we have a bunch of toys that we buy that are like the stuff that they're releasing now. Right. Like, and that's what like I play with them with. And that makes sense. So let's talk about about you some more, but more related stuff. So okay. you got into Transformers as a kid. You kind of got out because you grew up or whatever. But and your kid got you back in. Tell us all this time. We've all been there. Yeah, uh, right. My kids have destroyed my, <laughs> my dreams. So as, as you guys totally got out of it and then got back. In. That's right. We yeah. definitely at we're one point we're not like, into it. Yeah, like, like you had a period like, where yeah. you. You weren't into it. Right. Like, no. I'm still not into it. <laughs> this is for show. This is for, yeah. I just did this for the it's camera. All the this is actually guys. a fake set. Oh, it's like, green it's, it's a, yeah. Yeah, it's you a green totally screen. shut yeah. this off yeah. in any yeah. second. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, why decept uh, Why Constructicons? Well, the Constructicons, I, uh, they've always fascinated me because I think when I was a little, little guy, like, I'm talking like four or five years old, I got this great awesome Tonka truck. Like, I'm sure you, some of you who are somewhat similar age probably remember yeah, this thing. I had those big metal It was a trucks. big yeah. metal dump truck that, yeah. was like, that was like this big and it was like yellow and huge and we had my own sandbox and I would play in, in there for hours, like probably getting ringworm and all other kinds of crap from the sandbox. I was fascinated by construction vehicles, even like just not just that, but like I would see them along the side of the road. I, I grew up in the Boston area, and right. you'd, they they did the big dig for like nine hundred years, like Yoda age or whatever. But <laughs> it, t it took them like forever to do it. But yeah. we would drive into Boston, we'd see all these construction vehicles, and I was just fascinated by them. Like to me, for whatever reason, I, I just thought it was really cool that these vehicles could lift these really heavy weights or like carry these things and they spoke to you yeah. yeah they spoke to me so when I got into Transformers you know I was I loved the Jets at first the sure. Seekers yeah. Skywarp was my first first Transformer ever okay. I loved his coloring I loved like everything about him but then like as time went on we watched the cartoon and then they introduced Devastator and my like I said my brother collected the Autobots and I was like oh my god it's construction vehicles that are like these this beautiful green tint with purple like stylings and they were amazing and and then then they form this giant robot and all come together and it's my mind is blown and so it like immediately hooked me yeah even though they 
they got defeated pretty damn easily that first episode. And Plus, it was, not and it was Let's the just think, let's just think about the movie. But yeah, yeah. I just think about the movie. Yeah, the movie yeah. was pretty effing awesome. Yeah. Especially when he drop kicked Grimlock. Like, oh, yeah, like, that, was, that yeah. was like tearing things over. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. tearing things. Yeah. And, and then like when uh, Daniel climbs up the ladder and he looks out and he's like, and then hook, and then I think it is Cup that says Devastator. Yeah, um, man, they, like, big deal. they set it yeah. perfectly. Yeah. I was in, infatuated with him, and uh, I honestly had pitched IDW on stories for probably more than two years. Different stories, not just involving the Constructicons. It was involving the Seekers. It was involving different things. I was trying to fit into their old continuity. And then when they kind of decided to blow up the universe yeah. and start anew, it gave me an opportunity to tell a, like my dream story, which yeah. is a, a new Constructicons origin story. Okay, so and you just lobbied them relentlessly until you finally got in. There. I, I did. Oh, I would say because in the cartoon, the Constructicons famously have like a backward story. Why well, well, they either, have three different stories. right? They have three different origin yes. stories, right? Yeah, yeah. they have three there. Yeah. And, and the one that I kind of cling to is the Secret of Omega Supreme, which right? Is which the, is my favorite. Which yeah. is probably yeah. the best of the right. three. Whereas one of them, it's like, hey, I made these assholes in a cavern back here. Like, now they can form this giant robot. Like, yeah, right. like that was one of them. And then the other one was like, like Megatron was built by the construction. Yeah, yeah like, what? So, like, yeah. so Devastator's no. God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Praise Devastator. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, but um, honestly, like, for me, the Secret of Omega Supreme, I thought was a great episode because it was... Uh, it showed a different side of them that they were something different before they became right. Decepticons. Right, they, ch they chose to be Decepticons. So there, yeah, was, I, there was actual characterization and not just, hey, I'm you a guys, bad guy. You guys make that big guy. Yeah, yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah um, my one problem obviously with that episode, and I think I'm guessing it probably had to do with time constraints, was they had the Robo Smasher that turned them into right. Decepticons, like which was a quick plot device to like. Yeah. There was no choice involved in terms yeah. of them turning. Right. So, like, in terms of thinking about how to, like, tell their origin stories about how they came to be Decepticons, I I thought about, like, telling a different story about choice rather than some machine that gets hooked right. into their heads that makes them into it. So, that makes sense. So that's kind of, like, the, the crux of my story. It's a four-issue arc. So those of you who aren't good at reading... There's still pictures, yeah. but it's not very long. You can look yeah. at the pictures, and the yeah. pictures will kind of tell a story. And yeah. the pictures are done by some, uh, I don't know, an artist. Uh, yeah, I've never heard of Livio Remondelli. Yeah, no, I definitely didn't do some of my favorite uh, <laughs> comic series, like the uh, Transformers Autocracy. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Yeah, no, this is no big deal. It's really cool. Yeah. Just getting a random dude. Yeah, it's, it's nice that just like, no, like a Joe Schmo nobody. Yeah. Can you uh, draw? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> He's actually, honestly, uh, all like he's is supremely talented. You guys know that, but he's he's also just the nicest person, yeah. and he's become not nice enough to be on a show. But you know, hey, whatever, it's fine. Hey, he's in Catalina. I'm, I'm kidding. Catal I'm getting it today. Catal hey, Livio, you are welcome to hang out with us <laughs> at any point yeah. if you want to come on, even if you don't have him to promote. Yeah, just want to hang just out. Come on, and hang and hang. They, they make a killer like whatever the whiskey mix. This yeah. this is. Uh, Crown, crown vanilla, crown and, vanilla salted and, and salted caramel. Yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. right? I like it. It's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I like. Well, it'll get you drunk. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. which is really the purpose. Yeah, yeah. bots and shots. Bots yes, and uh, shots. shots is the uh, thing here. But so uh, yeah, he became honestly. He and I worked like a, and I've used the term a little bit. Is like we've became really. Uh, <laughs> pardon the, pardon the venom illusion but we become kind of symbiotic like, oh like we really we him and i have we're really on the same page yeah. when it comes to what we wanted to accomplish he loved the story like when he saw it and he was excited i don't want to put words in his mouth but i've done podcasts and stuff with him so i know i think i think you can probably but he it, basically yeah. says that he loves like the idea of being able to tell a true constructicon story okay. because in the past when Real he's quick. Oh, Favorite conditioning noise. It's gonna close the door. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Just so that hum isn't in the background. It'll still be in the background. Yeah, it'll help. I'm keeping this in. Whatever. <laughs> so sorry, I'm trying to help. Yeah. <laughs> if now we know how long it is. We don't edit I'm here. The, I'm the Lots of shots do not edit. Zero edits. No, Zero edits. No, it is as it is. Yeah. If I drop my pants right now, it would stay that it way. It stay in. So and go in my personal collection. I'd be thankful that I'm not yeah. dropping. So my we're pants. staying in. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. We're okay. <laughs> 
Just wanted to make sure we got the terminology. Yeah. There you go, sorry. <laughs> So um, I think Livio really, like, when he came on to draw Devastator in the past, it was like a different form of Devastator mm-hmm. that I had, IDW had done before. I think Prowl was part of the team. Yeah, the Prowl had, I think it was like, more related to the Combiner Scrapper yeah. had already kind of bit it. And, and we, we talked about this. We, we've been hanging out for a while today. Yeah. We talked about his He's feelings. Gonna get me right yeah, I now. am going to. <laughs> Uh, you kind of mentioned that was like the catalyst. It really, to... it really was in a way, just because yeah. Scrapper was always one of my favorites. I loved his uh, toy as a kid, and uh, when I saw how he died in the in the first continuity, it, taken out by uh, Spike. Yeah, and it really angered me so yeah. much so that I woke up my wife with an audible gasp. And he wrote a letter to his congressman. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back Scrapper. <laughs> which what? it got, it, got it ignored. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, honestly, like, it, part of it was I really wanted to tell uh, a story that not, not really focused solely on Scrapper, but told a different story around yeah. the constructor sure. cons and gave each of them more of a defined personality. I always thought of Scrapper as being kind of a a humble leader who like because he was the leader of the construction hunt, right. like a leader who who knew uh, who was very knowledgeable, who was very intelligent, but also humble and like kind of he was sort of almost the in my opinion sort of the Decepticon equivalent of Prime. Yeah. Um, okay. But because he was much more like humble about himself as opposed to the Megatron one and you knew to take the back seat yeah. to, to Megatron. I mean, well, he, he voted himself to be the leg. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I have to point that out. Like, yeah. what kind of leader was like, yeah, I'll be the foot. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's not a leader position but, for like, most people. But, like, can you imagine yeah. Razor Claw being like, no, I got this foot thing. <laughs> yeah. But at least he's the right foot. You know? That's true. That's true. That's true. Like, right does make right. right. Yeah. Wait, what? 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 Right <laughs> makes right. <laughs> never once said that. That's the thing it would say, right? No, it's the might makes right. Oh, even then it's not I thought it was right. right makes right. No. <laughs> We're talking Decepticon language now. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. 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 When we're first introduced to him in my series, he's not the mindless killing machine that we've known. He's And grown to love. He's <laughs> he's cr- he's created for a purpose, mm. a very specific purpose. But one you won't tell us. Not yet. Okay. Not, not on camera. Though. You'll have yes. to read that. Yes. Wait, is this like is this reading Rainbow? Yeah. Read <laughs> Go to comicshoplocator.com. Yeah. yeah. See? And pre order the series. Then you'll know everything. Yep. Unless your comic store already gets Transformers comics. And wait, good good job on your Good, good job on your comic <laughs> selection there. Yeah. Uh, I plan on getting it physically, and then I also plan on buying it digitally. Because you got that iPad. And, and this, and he's going to get it emotional. I am going to get emotional. <laughs> and spiritually. <laughs> and spiritually. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to shred it up and then inject it intravenously. <laughs> but not rectally. Not rectally. Okay. No, never rectally. Okay. No. Well, I mean, it's like... Or pen- penially? Is, is, that, is penially? Penially? Yeah. Pen- 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 is that a thing? Yeah. <laughs> However you want to... Hey, you chose the <laughs> yeah. emotion. You knew what you were getting into, Tyler. <laughs> we told you what we were. We never lied to you. Wow. I, I, I can I'm see the, out. I can yeah. see the rectal thing coming. Yeah, yeah. I can see the penile. Thing. <laughs> no one ever does. Little hey, if, if there's an opening, I'm gonna mention it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So anyway, it's like uh, I figured that would be a cool way to kind of introduce Devastator to think about him in a different way that maybe his purpose wasn't what we originally thought it would be. So is his story, even though he's kind of on his, or they're on their own contained kind of little book it still is tied to the overall like the new IDW it is it it is like there's threads that go within that there's familiar characters that you'll see within Brian Ruckley's story which is the main continuity right now um, that translate into what I am doing with my now does Hasbro be like okay you have to include these things in there or like is that just your idea um no no Hasbro didn't Forced me to do it. It was like, but it was it made sense because okay. it was a new continuity. Right. To so like, yeah, we want to connect it. Wait, people and, and people if, like connected and universes. If you connect it, then maybe there'll be more. Yeah. Right. So give him a job. Yeah. So I mean, no, 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 no. Don't <laughs> shit. You guys fucking buy this comic, yeah. <laughs> so Tyler here can make more comics. Yeah. Yes. Right? So just, just Cause, do it. Because who wants to make Devastator comics except this guy? This guy. We all wanted we need, them. I want like. 
eight Devastator comics yeah. at the very least. Yes. So. And you'll have four now, so, so we're halfway yeah. there. Halfway there. Halfway just there. Living on a prayer. Just, just, think, just stop with that. We <laughs> don't want to pay your licensing rights for your song lyrics again. <laughs> I wrote that. You're not Bon Jovi. My last name is Joby. <laughs> it's Case. It's oh. on your channel. Oh. I, ta- I pronounce it Joby. Okay. You are relatively new to the world of comics. I am. Um, Brand what, new. What, what is your process to go in it? Like, how do you approach it? Yeah, you sit down, you're at your, what, comic writing desk? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah. actually, actually, I try and hide away from my children. Otherwise, I have to listen to the soundtrack for Dear Evan Hansen all day. Oh, so, uh, yeah. Um, which, you know, it's, I actually really love that musical, believe it or not. It's I'm not, Real confessions with Tyler. N- not a musical guy, but Dear Evan Hansen's actually really so poignant. So, would but, you think that that subconsciously influenced the story for the constructive <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> Nobody's lying in the story. Well, okay. maybe somebody is. Oh! <laughs> that is meaningless. <laughs> A Decepticon? Lying? Oh, it's right in the name. So, like, I might start, start I like, there's a part, it's, 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 I might start in the kitchen, like, I have a laptop set up in the kitchen, mm-hmm. and if my daughter or son is home, they might ask Alexa to play some music or something that can be distracting, so I'll typically unplug and retreat and go up into another room and mm-hmm. just sit there yeah. and... Make it as dark as humanly possible. Put the fan on myself. Okay. And, yeah. um, do you do like take off all your clothes? Like a sensory deprivation kind of thing? Yeah. Or <laughs> you, do, you, do you immerse yourself? It's okay. No, do you, don't hurt the toys. Yeah. Do you immerse yourself in like everything Transformers? To, like, do you have like a special pair of underwear you put on? Yeah. That These are important them. things. Like, like, you like I to get into the things. minds of the. When he edits, he wears this weird like <laughs> g-string jock yeah, thong it's, thing. Yeah, it's, it's super tight. Sex harness. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'll go up there, and there. I actually one of the things that I acquired from San Diego Comic Con. Very, very excited about it. I got. Uh, we have a a room where we like typically like to watch movies or whatever. Mm-hmm. I got a Transformers movie from Mongo. I think the name of it is Mongo. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, oh, the, the print. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. The, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, okay. The print. Yeah. And I have it hanging in the room. Oh, and that, I, that, that poster. They oh my yeah, god! Post, it's yeah. so so bummed out. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, you want to hear how I got it? Please. <laughs> I paid someone standing in line. Nice. To like buy me one. I Capitalism. Gave, I gave him an no, extra no. twenty bucks, and yeah. I said. Uh, because he wasn't he wasn't interested in Transformers, right, right. so I'm like, and they were only allowing one per customer. Right. Yeah, and so actually, I met two really nice people while I was standing in line who actually fell in love because they both love Transformers the movie. Aww. Interestingly, I've become friends with uh, the the man on on Twitter, uh-huh. and he is coming to my signing. That I'm doing on September 28th at Torpedo Comics. Him and his wife. If you want to hang out with Tyler here, yeah. my man, Torpedo Comics. And then we'll, and we'll plug more below. Yeah, yes. for sure. Yeah. So uh, I'm like, what day is that? What day is that? I think it's a Saturday. We, do you want it? Do you want September 9th? September 28th. 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 I might be in town. Yeah. Okay. They're selling. Maybe. It. We'll make it up. We'll be there. Oh, that would be exciting. And drunk. And well. Well, it'd probably. be hard to get yeah. there. Yeah. No. Like, not with trains. Not with that attitude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, trains and lift. That's right. And you grew up modern transportation. That's so. right. Although trains aren't really modern. Yeah. They're not. They're like the oldest form of transportation. <laughs> legally speaking. They're, they're, they're like the most ancient and futuristic form it's of transportation. It's so true. Astro train. Like, yeah. it, it's like they've trains have been around forever, but all the future things is like, what if we had hover trains? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah like high, high speed mag- magnetic trains. It's like it's, it's a train. It's still a train. Yeah. It's a train. So I like to sit in that room with that poster behind me. Right, that's what we were talking about. Like, right? yeah. So that's um, what yeah, I, I'm. I'm we're you are it, there. We're bringing it full. You circle. are in control of this. Yes. <laughs> you are, you there we go. You're along for the ride, people. <laughs> if you've ever seen the show, we have never do anything right. <laughs> We have never do anything right. Yes, <laughs> never true. have. We never have do anything. Except yeah. today. Yeah. It's happening. That's true. But anyways, so, so like your change. dark room, you got your poster. Yeah. And <laughs> I, and I usually bring the dog. Mondo up. is the people that you have. Mondo. Mondo. Yes, Mondo. Mondo. Yeah. And it's an amazing, if you haven't seen the poster, you should Google it because it's the best. Well, Mondo's famous for doing 
Just movie cool. poster. Yeah. The way that Livio and I have worked is I write the plot of each issue. Is it like bullet points or like a no, full like a full like not like kind of a, like a what happens on <clears throat> each page. Kind okay, of, kind of thing. Okay, very, a breakdown per page. Very yeah. specifically, like what action I want to happen on each page. Okay, like, and then I don't put any dialogue or any, anything in it yet. Um, <coughs> and then it goes to IDW and then Hasbro and goes through yeah. all the approval chains, and then goes to Levi, uh, Livio, and then he does like an outline of it, gives it back to me. Then I might like go through the same script and put dialogue right, okay. for what happens on each panel. Right. So we were talking. So you start and finish it. Yeah, yeah, yeah basically. You're, you're through the bookends. Of yes, this entire book. And the the beautiful part of it, honestly, is that I is that Livio, like, no matter what I describe, and I don't know, I I'm not going to pat myself on the back and you say should. it and say it's me. You should because he well, captures. I'll say it. It's you. He's not here. <laughs> he defend himself. Hey, Livio. <laughs> he captures everything that I like ask for on each one of the mm. pages. It's like. A little bit of both. I, I put it yeah. like exactly, and I just think we're like we're we're in sync when it comes yeah. to the story, and we've been we've become really good friends. Like I, I call him my brother all the time, but just because we're just we we're so in sync when it comes yeah. to the story, and he knows exactly what I'm trying to accomplish, and he goes over the top with some of the things I tell him. Okay, you need to make this this way, and and then he comes back, and it's like even better than I imagine right. it to be. So I'm like, I could not have found a, uh, a better partner to do it with. And it makes me really excited that people are going to be like blown away by the story. You are going to be blown away by the yeah. story. Yes. That's not, a, you can't even say like, if they're blown away by the story, you will, you are <laughs> going to be blown away by the story. You gotta have confidence. Yeah. You gotta have confidence. And you know what? It's true. It's just, it's going to happen. And you have to just lay back and accept yeah. being blown away. I mean, I frankly am excited about it mostly because the big characters are kind of sh are smooshed to the side. Yeah. Like, like I'm sure there's references to the, the big guys in, in either faction, but I like stories in the Transformers canon that focus on, like, the not primes. Yeah. The not Megatron. We, we've had a thousand stories of Opt I have a whole shelf of Optimus yes. Prime and Megatron yeah. down here. And but, like, it's fun having those little side characters that no one ever really talks especially about. Especially a character that is so, like, not even just like physically big but it has such a presence in the Transformers world and he's barely gotten any story except for like when he was incomplete yes I think that's the most I've ever seen about his, his biggest playing. his biggest accomplishment was not being complete yeah his biggest accomplishment is not having the, the <laughs> leg leader in, <laughs> he had diabetes he got spike diabetes yeah, he got spike and lost his foot yeah. <laughs> don't bring it up it hurts too deep it does. it's been like eight years yeah. it's get still over it, hard get, get over it's it it's more recent for me man <laughs> What is happening right now? Don't worry, that happens every time we yeah, film. It does. The Star Wars shelf just really. It's, it's the Empire guys. They just like this. Star they have, Wars really wants to cut into your they Transformers. Do. No one even fired a shot in that Stormtrooper win. <laughs> it's like I know what to do here. I've done this before. It's a Unix system. I know this. He did what's safe. He did shot. He did shot. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh. Uh, well, I think that's all I've got. Is yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, for now. Yeah, for yeah. now. For now. Because the comic hasn't been out yet. That's true. We have no idea what to ask. I mean, we, we probably have to have a conclusion episode. Probably. Or we kind of, we kind of wrap things up. I don't know. I'll come down with yeah. hang out with you guys anytime. I had a blast. Yeah, so I'm going to interlace this probably before or after. I'll have, like, our toy hunting yeah, footage sure. in there to kind of tie everything yeah, yeah. together. But, uh, so that was a lot of fun hanging out. Did you like the Toy Addicts place? I, I love Toy so Addicts. So shout out yeah. to Toy Addicts, John Chan. Yeah, yeah. John Chan. Cool, cool guy. Um, let us he gave, he gave me a little deal on school. Yes, he did. Shh. It's because he wants it's because he knows how this. Don't, don't, don't. We're the in there. Shout out to TC's <laughs> Rockets. We want and you know too. what? That's a, we've never been there before. Well, that's that's a, a great store. But not that yeah. version. I had so. never been there at all. It was a yeah. great store. Fan TC Rockets, you guys have a pretty good, uh, is that oh is that Rocket Con? Is that what they call yes, it? Rocket it is. Con? Yeah, it's really yeah, it's con. their con. Yes, yeah, their con. I just put that together. Yes. You, you know, you know, PC well, stands for personal computer. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Watch things. Re get comic. Yeah. Go to comic store. <laughs> Watch, com thing. Watch <laughs> thing. Get Watch comic. thing. Get comic. <laughs> I'm, I'm really good at YouTube. <laughs> like, subscribe. I like, YouTube real well. Like, share, subscribe. Yeah.
Uh, yeah, so that, I think that's, that's it. Oh, but, and by the way, I learned today that apparently Zach and I are complete spirit animals. That's true. Like, we completely... I feel like Zach is your spirit animal. Yes. Because he's like the young virile, like, kind of oh. animal person. I mean, the virile makes it like a cut. I know. Like, I'm Ouch. Sultan. Jesus. Jeez. I, didn't, I didn't really mean that. I, I know. I know nice. he's got... He's had kids. He's true. Actually, that's true. You're way more virile than me. I have not demonstrated any of my virility. Yeah. I don't have any kids. I don't know no, what no, no. Mean. So Zach and I both decided that because we both love Galvatron and we both are frustrated by... Starscream. Yes. We both hate Starscream. And one of the greatest moments in Transformers history is when he got completely turned to yes. dust. Yes. So, so we're spirit animals. Yes. Yeah. 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 So and like, I need, I need like, this shirt too. I need like some of the same music, yes. I guess. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. We, we do stuff. Yeah, KMFTM. Yeah. Tool. I'm also yeah. cool, guys. I like things and I do things. <laughs> As you were the Autobots. Although his things don't like him. They I know, right? They just, the, they just yeah. they, shelf that. They're like, uh, every time they try to escape. Every time. Like, I, told, I told him, only use Indy in the cupboard cupboard once. But he used it for every guy every toy. Because it was so cool. I know. It was so cool. They're all pretending to not be alive All right. All right, I'm gonna do my imitation. Ready? Yeah. Mike sucks. Jeez. <laughs> oh, cool, like more <laughs> he, he got he got me back for that beer. I'll comment. I, I, I'll take it. I'll accept it. That's fine. Yeah. Seriously, That's fine. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. There, let's, there's, let's, there's, show the, uh, there's, let's show the guilty There's a, there's a rocket trooper on the yeah. ground right here. Yeah, this is the guy it's that actually, decided to jump to his death. Or yeah. maybe he tried to fly away, but his rocket pack didn't work. It's, it's just yeah. like, that would be very stormtrooper. <laughs> it would. That's it for our show uh, for right now. We're going to have more stuff in the future for Transformers and Bots and Shots. So if you want to hang out with us, I guess just subscribe because yeah. that's that's how that works. Or that's just how YouTube works. Or write a comic and we'll hang out. Or write a, <laughs> if you write a comic and you want to hang out with us, even if it's a comic that like, nobody reads, like, we'll, oh, we're not friends. That's not what I meant. I'm not talking about yours. Promoting. I'm talking about theirs. You're promoting a oh, Jesus. Jesus. Wow. Well, first right. of all, all right, first thank of all. you. That's it for me. Yeah, I'm leaving. No, <laughs> no legally, nobody has read your comic yet. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> some might have. Okay. There yeah. might have been some preview issues up. Um, yeah. Okay. Just saying. Anyways, look for it. September 25th. <laughs> Yes, um, but the best thing you can do, honestly, is pre-order. Yes. Pre-order it because that's how they know. Apparently, it's like video games; they all live and die on pre-orders. Yes. So yeah. you have to pre-order, preferably before September second, if you can. And if you don't directly pre-order, please get your comic book store to pre-order every ask, future Transformers. Ask them if they'll carry com- uh, Transformers Galaxies. You can start to cons rising. Start to cons rising. Uh, so if they don't do pre-orders. I know ours, the Toy Wars, did a pull list, so I just yeah. had I just had to get these comics for me, yeah. and they would at least order one for me, yeah. which yes. was which was nice. Yeah, so. you can you don't even have to go down there. You can literally just call them and say, "Hey, set aside this for me." This phone, this these phone things used for more than texting. And yeah. call. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter because I what's tweet, your, tweet what's about Transformers what's a lot. At? It's oh. at Poppy Blaze, B L E Z P A P I B L E Z. Poppy Blaze. Poppy Blaze. Yes, Poppy Blaze. So is that like, also your uh, Instagram? It is. Okay. Yeah, it is. You can so follow me there as well. Twitter, Instagram, do those things. Yes. Do you know what the internets are? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Internet. Uh, they all, he a also, of tubes. It is a series that. of tubes. Yeah. He also, if you look, you'll see his uh, cool Devastator themed bicycle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which yes. is rad. I have not yet unveiled that publicly, but I might. What? Towards the well, end now of the you comment. have to. Guys. I know you have to tie it in. Promote yes. the comments. It's on your Instagram, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah so my Instagram only recently became public. Okay. So, oh, all right. So only friends. Well, I know might. About. I but might. You're cut welcome that out. to know about yeah. it. It's right. Big name celebrity. I, I know. Oh, Sorry, man. I didn't mean to oh. out your bike bicycling <laughs> habits there. <laughs> Guess what? You just got dunked. I got. Might I? Oh. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah. I have no. I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I think this is why we don't have guests. He just that's true. Them it's all the time. It's, I was used to you. I can insult you all I want. Yeah. Like <laughs> there's consequences keep, to my actions. Keep it here. Don't direct it. That's over all right. There. I can totally take it. Yeah. Uh, we like Tyler. Tyler's yeah. a cool guy. Mike and Zach are awesome. So We're all right. you need We're to right. like, subscribe. And comment. Hopefully, positive comments because I've seen those YouTube comments and they're ugly. Sometimes. Yeah, we're watching you. Yeah, we're not. You, you guys are nice. You guys are <laughs> I'll be reading them. You. We love you guys. Poppy Blaz will be like, he'll be judging you. Yeah, yes, he's coming. To get he's you. coming to get you. And I might comment back. Oh yes, son, I'm talking <laughs> to you. <Jesus. laughs> That's it. Bye. 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 <laughs> uh.